welcome back to Sydney as we get ready for the first American to step into the ring today. A capacity crowd on hand here at the Exhibition Center. Better than 10,000. They have expanded the seating configuration. And it's a big day. Jeff Lacey of the United States. Later on, Michael Bennett goes up against Cuba's Felix Savon. And there's Lacey's opponent, Geiderbeck. Got our back off out of Russia and the Russians very successful today. They have won their three previous bouts. Overall eight Russians making it to the quarterfinals. And now three are on to the semifinals. Jeff Lacey the 23 year old out of St. Petersburg Florida. We talked about it earlier in the competition Ted. He is the most physically well built fighter on the U.S. team and perhaps the hardest puncher in this division. And the important thing is that he's not just showing the power. If he's going to continue in this tournament, he's going to show what he's shown up to this point. The jab, the counter punching, the whole package. 165 pound middleweight division. Lacey in the blue. And got her back off in the red. When I talked to the coaches last week, I asked them, who is the most talented on the team? Jeff Lacey, they said right away. And also, as far as respect and who the other teammates listen to the most, Jeff Lacey's name came up, along with Ricardo Williams. Oh, nice combination by Gunnar Beckoff for a point. Jeff Lacey, very impressive. His first two bouts, thrashing Cleto and Conceição of Brazil. The bout stopped on points in the third round. Second round bout this past Friday, Lacey advanced over his Polish opponent easily by the margin of 21 to 7, but off to a slow start here. Lacey's being backed up so far by Gaido Bekov, and going straight back, Gaido Bekov has been able to score with the right hand by stepping to Lacey. You don't want Gaido Bekov to get control if you're the American. You don't want him to control the rhythm. He pushes Lacey back when he wants to, and then he makes Lacey come forward where he can counter when he wants to. Very important to be in control of the rhythm. Right now, Gada Bekoff is in control of the rhythm. Gada Bekoff won his first bout. 11-10. Close bout over the opponent from Uzbekistan. Then a 15-9 decision over his Nigerian opponent. And he's in front here, 4 nothing on the American, Jeff Lacey. And the way this is going, Ted, Lacey may have to eventually go to that big punch. The pace is being controlled right now by Gaido Bekov. He is making Lacey do what he wants him to do, making Lacey reach in where he can counter, and then making Lacey go backwards when he wants to. An honest appraisal from assistant coach Israel Acosta telling Jeff Lacey very clearly, you lost this round. Lacey has been waiting in front and being forced backwards. And right there, waiting in front, you could see on the replay, Gaido Bekov was able to score with the right hand. Lacey trailing badly as the second round gets started. Down 5 nothing to the Russian. Got her back, got her back off. Good things usually start with the jab. And right now, Lacey is trying to use that jab to get in position. The problem is, Gaido Bekov is very good at stepping back. A very difficult, awkward move for an orthodox fighter like Lacey. What you have to do is you have to double the jab up if you're Lacey. Not one. And that time, Lacey did it. That's his first point of the bout. If your opponent is creating distance, 
You need two jabs to get in. Stunning right hand by Guider Beckoff. Caution for leading with the head. Very important for Lacey to know what not to do. He must not lay in front waiting for Guider Beckoff to get off. If he's not sure what to do, step out. Then get something started. But don't lay at the end of Olga Beckoff's distance like that and just wait. And again, Olga Beckoff was able to catch Lacey waiting in front. Lacey picking up a point on the counter, but trailing 9-2 to two to the Russian in red. Guider back off. Ted, why are Lacey's hands?